Hello there, everyone. I hope that you are all doing well and that you are having a good day. I hope that you and your loved ones and your families are continuing to stay safe as we are all in the process of maneuvering through and getting to the other side of this global worldwide event that we are all facing. Do me a favor, leave me a comment down below. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know what questions you have. If any questions that you would like me to do a video on, I welcome all of that. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can be notified when I have new videos coming out. Click the bell button so you can be the first to be notified when I have new videos coming out. And if you find this information, this content inspirational or informative or encouraging or just downright interesting, share it with people. Let people know about the channel. It's not about the vanity metrics. It's just about getting the message out there. Just be before I get into why I really came on, because my plan was actually not to do a video today, but I had to do a video today because I was energized, I believe, to do a video today to share this with you. And I believe that you need it. And I believe that you need it today because I believe that it is very appropriate for where we all are in this moment in time. But before I get into that, you know, things are starting to open up. I'm here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, here in the United States. Things are starting to open up. Businesses are starting to open up. The gyms are starting to open up. The restaurants are starting to open up. Even in New York, where we've been hit the hardest here in America, that's starting to open up. And that's great. That's wonderful. Hate to be a downer. Hate to sound like a gloom, doom, oracle type person. Here's the thing, though. I'm not the only one that's saying that. Several spiritual voices that I respect have also gotten witness of the same thing. I don't believe that this is over yet. And I know it's not something that any of us want to hear. We all want this to be over and done with. And I, I'm hold to God I'm wrong, but I don't believe that this event in time, even with everything opening up, I don't think it's over yet. I, I, I just don't. And others, other spiritual voices, like I said, in my life that I respect have been getting that same sense too. I don't know if it has to do with COVID-19 or it has to do with the repercussions that we will start seeing and experiencing as a result of COVID-19 or something totally entirely different that we all have a spiritual alert about. I just want to encourage you as you as you're seeing things open up, if your state or your country is in the process of doing that right now, just to to maneuver through your life carefully. You know what I mean? Be wise, listen to your heart, follow your intuition and do not become dismayed or, or, or overawed or flabbergasted or taken aback if you were to receive news that things have taken a turn or things have suddenly swung back around or that there's some backtracking that has to be done or whatever, whatever it may look like. I have no idea. I could just be wrong, but I just would encourage you regardless, even if I am wrong, to to move into these days, this new day that we're all entering into with a spiritual sensitivity, listen to your intuition and make a decision of quality because you're gonna need this regardless. Make a decision of quality that you're not going to allow the news and the reports of things that you are seeing, uh, the challenges that we're all gonna be facing, whether it's economically or medically or even in schooling, whatever have you, I, for me, can be very wrong. I have a sense that there is some news that is going to come forth during this time, that there are there are going to be some discoveries about things and reports of things that are going to pose as challenges for us, that we are going to have to face the reality of, that we won't be able to change, but we will simply have to maneuver through them. And we will be able to do that because we are strong and powerful people. And I want you to remember that we are going to get to the other side of this, even if the other side and the finish line of the other side of this whole event is a little longer ways out than we had anticipated it being, okay? hate to be a gloom and doom person. That's not my MO. I'm a very positive person. But when I sense something like that and I have enough spiritual people that I respect saying the same thing, I believe it's really important to present it to the audience that I have so that way you can be informed. You can see how that registers with your own spirit, throw it out if it doesn't bear witness, and you can have the information because that is what this channel is all about. Now, let's get to why I really came on here. And that is because for because, well, let me say that again, let me get to the reason why I came on here for real. And that is because I was going about my day doing life as you're doing as best as in whatever way that looks like for you. 
And I had this sudden random thought, which it wasn't really a, a random thought. I realized it was a divine thought. I said, you know what? I am going to open up my spiritual mom's book, Dare to Declare. For those of you who don't know this book, highly recommend that you get the book. I'm going to put the link of this book in the description below. So that way, if you have not purchased it and you have not bought it, you can make the investment. It is well worth the investment, Dare to Declare, by my spiritual mother, Dr. Mary Frances Ferralo, for those of you who are not familiar with her ministry or you're not familiar with, um, you know, the the ministers and the clergy of the Christian church, Dr. Mary Frances Ferralo in the camp of Christendom that I am a part of is a highly respected conference speaker, uh, a church minister, and a highly, highly respected prophetic voice in the earth known worldwide not just in the Christian circles, but known throughout the nations of the earth with governor, governments, parliamentarians, heads of state, and generals of armies for her extremely accurate prophetic gifting. I'm just, I can give you story after story after story of that. But anyway, this is her book, De Dare to Declare, and it's a devotional for every day of the year, 365 days, January to December. And what it is, is it's a compilation of prophetic utterances and words that the Holy Ghost has given her over the years that her staff and her team in turn compiled, you know, took the ones they, they sensed the Lord was moving on to be a part of this devotional, put it in a devotional with a confession at the end of it. And it's for 365 days of the year. So I encourage you, if you get the book, to go to your birthday, all those kind of fun things. You know, the things that people do in astrology and then witchcraft, the reason why they do it is because there is a genuine flow of that on the divine side. And this, I think, is a profound example of that. It is prophetically inspired. I, I promise you, every time I open this and I open to the date that I, the actual day that I'm in that day in the book, it is phenomenal what comes out. So today, I had just this thought, and I hadn't opened it in a while, actually. I said, you know what? I'm just going to turn and see what she has to say for May 19th. I'm just going to open it just to see because Holy Ghost had been downloading some very interesting words to me throughout the course of this morning regarding some very specific things. And, I, and, I, and so, you know, as I was going about my day, I thought, you know what? I want to open up and see what the Holy Ghost has to say for May 19th out of this devotional. Just for kicks. Why not? opened it and oh my goodness line for line almost word for word exactly what i had been picking up in my spirit this morning was in this devotional for today for may 19th and i believe that it doesn't just only apply to me it applies to you as well so i had to come on here and share it with you so here it goes why don't you listen to this it is may 19th devotional in this book and dr bravo's book devotional dare to declare okay and I, I just, I don't come on here randomly just to be coming on here. And y'all know that by now. And I'm not just doing this because I don't have anything better things to do. I promise you, I have plenty of other things to do. But I really believe it was important to get this out to you and get this out to you today. Hence why I'm sharing this. And also, just so we're clear, even if you are not watching this the day that I am posting it up, Whatever day you happen to be watching this, it applies to you because that's just how God's word works and that's how the Holy Ghost works. Anytime that you hear something from the Holy Ghost, no matter, irregardless of time, regardless of the time that you're watching it, it applies to you. So if you're watching this two years from now or you're watching this the moment I post it up, this applies to you, just so you know. Okay, May 19th. This is deep. I'm telling you, this is so cool. This is so exciting. I promise you. Anyway, May 19th. Here is the title. God visits you wherever you are, whatever you're facing, or whatever you are going to have to face in the days to come. Did you hear that? Wherever you are, whatever you're facing, and whatever you may find yourself having to face in the days to come. Take this word. God visits you. Not going to. God is in the process right now, and he is in the works of visiting your life your family, your relationships with whatever is needed, needful for your life. We're going to get to that. Hold on. God visits you. And now this is Dr. Varallo talking. Right now, today. Don't you love that? Okay, this is so cool. I'm telling you. Right now, today. Let's stop right there. Wherever you are right now, right now, today, in the situation that you're in right now, wherever you're watching this right now, your car, your office, your home, wherever have you, right now, today, comma, 
God comes into your situation and intervenes for you. Reg wherever you are right now, at whatever point in time and point in history, a year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, uh, like 20 minutes from now after this video has been posted, God is right here present and he is coming into your situation. He is intervening for you. God comes into your situation, whatever situation that is, physical situation, financial situation, emotional situation, relational situation. God comes in on the scene for you right now, wherever you are right now, in whatever part of the world you're in right now, he is coming in to your situation and he is intervening for you. He is not just intervening for me or for Oprah or for Iyana Van Zandt or for, or for Dr. Mary Francis Varallo or for any other spiritual uh, superstar or guru or uh, actor or singer or Grammy award winning uh, artist of some kind. He is intervening on your situation, on your life because he cares about you that much. I need you to believe that because if you don't believe that, you're not gonna see that, but that's also in here too. We're gonna get to that. Okay, getting ahead of myself. Believe this. Did I just say that? Okay, so you don't have to feel this. You don't have to feel it. It may not feel like this, feel this way at all for it to be so. I'm not asking you to feel like what I'm saying to you is the truth. I'm asking you to make a decision of quality to choose to believe it, okay? God, right now, in whatever state, situation, circumstance, country, nation, region, community you're in right now, is coming in on your situation circumstance, dilemma, crisis, challenge, obstacle, setback that's happening in your life right now. And he is in the works of intervening on those things, not for everybody else, but you, but for you, okay? I need you, God needs you, uh, the Barala needs you to believe this. Don't challenge it. So what does challenging look like? See, so you hear this random guy in glasses in Tulsa, Oklahoma, reading from a book that you have probably never heard of before in your life saying, okay, right now where you are, God's gonna in, is, in, is for you. He is getting involved in your situation. He's intervening on your life. And it's very easy to take this word, this message, because you may not know me, you may not see like what qualifies you to say all this. And you can, if you allow yourself to reason yourself out of everything that is being said right now. Don't want you to do that because doing so is going to forfeit. You're going to forfeit some amazing supernatural intervention and miraculous operations of God doing that. Don't want you to do that. Don't challenge. So say it again. Believe this right now, today, right now, today, not 10 minutes from now, not 20 minutes from now, regardless of what time or when you're watching this, you can be watching this December 20, 31st of 2020, December 31st of 2024, regardless. Right now, today, wherever you are, at whatever time you're watching this, God comes into your situation and he is intervening for you. Believe this. Don't challenge it. Believe. Receive this and you will see this. If you believe this, I'm most confident. I don't need you to believe. I don't need you to take my word for it necessarily. I just need you, if it bears witness with your heart in, in any degree, open yourself up to the possibility of this. If you would just open yourself up to the possibility that right now, in whatever situation, circumstance you find yourself in right now, God is present and he is working on whatever situation you're facing. If you just open yourself up to the possibility of that, I am most confident that you're going to see the manifestation of that, okay? Don't wait to see. Turn everything now into a thanksgiving for the provision that you may not feel or see but that shall become, for it already is. That is a very heavy, loaded bunch of statements right there. I'm gonna repeat it again, then we're gonna break it down. Don't wait to see, what is he talking about there? So so here is what a, a skeptic will do. They'll take this and be like, okay, whatever. Like if God's gonna interview in my, my situation, dude, kid, whoever you are, okay, then he can just go ahead and do that. Just let him, oh, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting, that's a, skept that's a skeptic. That's a, uh, uh, a skeptic, that's a cynic, and that person ain't receiving jack from God at all. That's not how faith works, okay? That's not how belief works. Even if you don't even believe in God like that, 
look at all the people that you know and respect in the in the financial world, the entertainment industry, the music industry, the, whatever industry with that of our society that you know and respect. They will all tell you, if you don't believe it, you don't see it. If you don't believe it can happen, it's not going to happen. Don't even have to be a Christian to know that's true. So if you think you're just going to sit back and believe, okay, well, if you're saying that God's going to interfere in my situation, I'm just, I'm just going to lay back and let him do it. Yeah, it's never going to happen. So you, you might as well just turn off this video now because you're going to have to be proactive. And you're going to have to be proactive concerning what I'm saying to you this way, by doing this. Turn everything now into Thanksgiving, a.k.a. expressing gratitude. How many people, how many leaders and how many influencers and how many actors and how many times can Oprah and all the people that we love and respect in the world tell us the importance of gratitude before we actually do it? So maybe if you hear me say it, that'll just be the one final drop in the bucket that will cause it to overflow and cause you to actually do what you need to be doing. Be grateful. Practice gratitude. Practice being thankful. In whatever place, state you're in right now, Practice being thankful and grateful because there's something to be grateful and thankful for in every situation. And not just be and not just being grateful and thankful in that respect, but in this reading and for this devotional that we're reading right now, the instruction is for us to be thankful and grateful in a very specific area, in a very specific way. Okay, so being thankful and grateful as a lifestyle is important, and we all need to be doing that. But in context of this devotional and in context of what I'm sharing with you today, you need to be practicing gratitude and thanksgiving for the provision that you may not feel or see, but that shall become for it already is. Okay, this is for you. Yes, you. The one watching this right now. And whatever situation, challenge, difficulty, circumstance, situation you're in right now, God is present. He is for you. He comes into your situation. He is in the works of intervening on your life. He needs you to believe this. He needs you to receive this. And he needs you to practice the art of giving thanks for his intervention and giving thanks for the provision that he is making concerning the situations that you're in ahead of time before you see it. Okay? That's where faith comes in. That's where belief comes in. That's where trust comes in. When you can give thanks for the provision that you don't see and that you have no idea where it's coming from or even in the natural, if it's gonna come, if you can by faith as a decision of quality be grateful for the provision that you don't even see yet, you are a candidate for supernatural intervention, okay? Turn everything now to a thanksgiving for a provision that you may not feel or see, but that shall become for it already is. See, God already has your provision lined up for you, so you don't even have to worry about that. I promise you, it doesn't look like that right now. I get that. But still, the case, bottom line, everything that you need, the answer for it is already in God. He already has the answer, and he's already in the works of bringing it to you, whether you see it or feel it or not. Don't have to believe it. That's just the way it is. Somebody should have told you, if you're going to come on this channel, I know you're not going to come. I am a personal slash spiritual development life coach. So if you don't like all the spiritual stuff, you need to find another channel. There are many other channels that don't talk about spiritual stuff. I invite you to subscribe to them and unsubscribe to this one as soon as possible because I ain't got nothing for you. Anyway, everything that is came from the place that's unseen. You don't even have to be spiritual to know that's true. Everything that is came from the place of the unseen. So though, listen, though you don't see or feel in this moment. I am, meaning Dr. Varallo, am witness and give testimony. What is impossible suddenly becomes so. You can see it, track it all throughout history, even in the natural. People that have said running a mile in under four minutes, impossible. Getting a man to the moon, impossible. There's a whole slew of things that society in certain times throughout our history has said was impossible, that became possible. And in this moment, whatever impossible situation you are facing, there is a possibility in God that can turn that impossible situation around, okay? What's required of you in order to see that? You gotta believe. What was impossible, what was impossible before, listen, this is for you. This is not for everybody else. It's not just for me, okay? I had no intention of coming on today and I wouldn't have come on today if. I didn't have a reason to come on today. 
So then this applies to you if you're watching this, whenever you're watching this and wherever you're watching it from. Whatever was impossible for you, whatever was impossible before, what you thought couldn't be, now shall be. Okay, I'm gonna read that again. This is for you. What was impossible before, what you thought could not be, now shall be. Take that, wherever that applies to you, take it as your word and open your heart up to the possibility of that. What was impossible before, what you thought couldn't be, will now be how. How's that going to happen? Our title. God visits you. He comes and gives provision. He, I'm going to say it again. God visits you. I'm talking to you. Real talk. I am talking to you right now. Wherever you are in this moment, God visits you. He come, And when he visits, he doesn't, he doesn't visit empty-handed. He doesn't intervene on your situation. He doesn't come in on your situation empty-handed. He doesn't knock on the door of your heart and knock on the door of your life and then come in and have nothing to offer. That's not how God does stuff. That's how trifling people do you, but God doesn't do that. God visits you and he comes and he gives provision. Provision. When God comes, provision comes with him. When God comes, provision comes with him. And we just read in the beginning of this devotional that in this moment right now, as you're watching this, this video, God is coming and he is visiting you, okay? Where you had none, now you suddenly have. Okay, this is very appropriate for where we are right now with all of the doom and gloom about how the economy is gonna crash. You're gonna need to have to, you're gonna have to hold on to these words. I'm telling you, you're gonna have to hold on to what's being said. Where you had none, you suddenly have. Say it again. Where you had none, food, provision, job, money, resources, property, whatever have you. Wherever you had none, now, now you suddenly have. Whatever character that would be needful forms for you. Very interesting phraseology. In, a, in essence, whatever components or factors need to come in place, whatever connections need to be made so that you can have what you, have, what you need to have or have what you want to have is going to come. Things move out of the way now. What's in your way? What financial circumstance is in your way? What relational setback is in your way? What contractual setback is in your way? What opposition physically is in your way? Okay, here's the word. It moves out of your way now. Don't have to believe it. But if you would just, if you don't believe it, you're not going to see it. But if you open yourself up to the possibility of this, I'm telling you, you're in for some very amazing, very interesting supernatural times, regardless of what you may see going on around you. Whatever, things move out of your way now. What must happen? This is a question that the Holy Ghost through Dr. Varallo is posting and posing, not posting, posing to you and to me, okay? What must happen? What must be reversed? What has been the report to you? What is your body, your mind, your situation, your relationship, your finances, your schooling, your scholarships, your business dictating to you? Ask yourself that question right now. What must happen? I'm going to say it again. This is the longest video I've ever done. And I don't do long videos because people's attention spans are special, mine included. But I'm going to give this to you because it will not be said that I did not at least present you with the information and that the opportunity for you to see the information was not made available to you at the very least. What must happen? Ask yourself this question. It's not rhetorical. What must happen? In the comments below, let me know if it's if you're comfortable and if it's not too confidential and if you're not if you're comfortable with it. Let me know what the answers to these questions. In the comments below, if you're comfortable, give me the answers to these questions for your life in the comments below. What must happen? What do you need change? What do you need to happen right now? What must be reversed or changed? What has been the negative report that you are facing? Loss of job, furloughed, sick, COVID, pandemic affecting you, family, loved ones, spouses, in-laws, outlaws, enemies, okay? What is your body, your mind, your situation, your relationship, your finances, your schooling, your scholarship, your business, your scholarship, that's interesting with everything going on with colleges right now, right? Universities, huh? Your finances, your schooling, your scholarships, your business dictating to you. Something of God happens for you. I'm going to say it again. 
I, I'm telling you, I don't just do this to be doing this. Something of God happens for you that changes everything. I just need you to open yourself up to the possibility of that. Okay? Every situation, circumstance, situation, relationally, financially, emotionally, ministerially, um, mentally, physically, in business, that you're facing right now, that you need intervention on, that you don't see any answer of any possibility of a solution concerning right now, okay? Something of God happens for you that changes everything. Believe that, receive this moment with God, and you shall see what is needful for you. This is a moment in time. This is a moment with God right now, whether you believe it or not, or I wouldn't be on this camera right now talking to you about all this. In this moment, there is an intervention. There is a interruption in your life's track and schedule right now to furnish you with this information. God is here. He is for you. He is with you. He is intervening on your situation and circumstances. You need to open your heart up to the possibility of that so you can see the manifestation of that. Ask yourself and write in the comments below, what do you need change? What situation, circumstance, problem, setback, adversity are you facing right now? That situation and circumstance is going to be touched by the hand of God if you believe. Be intervened upon and totally changed. Receive this moment with God Open yourself up to the possibility of it. And what is the promise here? You will receive what is needful for you. And here's the, dec the prophetic declaration because she always ends with a prophetic declaration here. I declare over you that you will believe and receive what wasn't before. Oh, this is your instruction. Open a door of thanksgiving for the provision that already is in the unseen. For your faith receives it and makes it so. That's it. You can't say I didn't tell you. Here's the deal. We're coming into some very interesting times. And you're going to need that assurance. Because if you're going to go by the natural events and circumstances of life to turn out and to look the way you think they ought to look and the way they should look and the, the way they would have looked pre-pandemic, global coronavirus, COVID-19 crisis, you are sadly mistaken. That's number one. But number two... God was already thoroughly, he, was, he already knew very well that this was coming and already provi provided a way, a means for provision, for health, for protection through his word and through things like this, inspired messages from a book published years ago that is needed now more than ever, okay? Here's the deal. Whatever you're facing, whatever you're going to face, Whatever this video, wherever this video finds you right now, if you would open your heart up to the possibility of the fact that God is for you, he is there present. He is intervening on those situations and turning them around. He is in the process of doing so. He already has the answer for every problem, problem and situation you're facing anyway. And he just needs your, your, he needs your participation by way of thanksgiving. Do you have the courage enough? Do you have the faith enough do you have the tenacity enough? Do you have the spirit enough to be grateful for provision you don't even see coming yet, but that you know is? If you'll do that, it will be amazing. You will be amazed as to how supernaturally, just like our reading said, things turn around for you. That's what I came on to share with you. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Let me know what you got out of this video. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or comments, even if you would disagree with some of the things that I've said. I welcome it all as long as it's done in a respectful manner. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and click the bell button so you're notified when I have new videos coming out. Share this video with someone. If you know that this, this word or the, this word of encouragement resonate it with you, energize you, encourage you, spark something in you, and you know that a friend of yours or five friends of yours could benefit from this video, share it with them. Do not keep this message to yourself. It's not for the vanity metrics. It's to get the message out there. Thank you guys so much. And remember to continue living life learning.